Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. 67, 66, 66 wins in a row. This don't count your chicken, 67, right here, right here. V8 KC, T8, 0 V. D7 uh, is reroll rewards. I never know how to use this item properly. Tractor beam is pretty dope. Though the last run, we need to be careful because we're going to have some Isaac Highway blindness right now. And I, I've mentioned this analogy a thousand times, but it's possible that you're new and that's okay. You know, we, we welcome... Ooh, I don't mind that. We welcome uh, all newcomers to the show. But just remember, cash... Grass or ass, nobody watches for free. Actually, like, everybody watches for free, and that's the way I'd prefer to keep it, in all honesty. Um, but, let's kill Gluttony first here. Highway blindness is when, you know, you're on the freeway, you're on the interstate, you're on the Trans-Canada Highway, you're on the Autobahn, just trying to localize this and make this applicable for everybody. Ooh, an early goat head ain't so bad. It's just the best I've ever had. Um... And you're going real fast, you know? You're going 80 miles an hour, you're going 120 kilometers an hour, and then you take your exit, and the exit's like, you know, 20 miles an hour limit. You slow down to the point, ooh, a luck upgrade as well. You slow down to the point where you feel as if you're barely moving at all, but actually you're moving pretty quickly. It's one of the things like in um, Driver's Ed, which is like our, I mean, you probably know what Driver's, driving education, you know, driving school. They tell you that that's like one of the things you have to watch out for when you come off of the interstate or off of the freeway. Is that you're going to think that you're not moving as fast as you are because you become acclimated to a certain speed. And that's where we're at on this run. We become acclimated to the fact that, um, or to, to the experience of being real freaking fast. Uh, at killing rooms, at killing enemies. And even just, you know, at moving in general. We were guppy with a lot of DPS on the last run. Um, we might get to that point on this run, but it's not going to happen immediately. So if we want to minimize the amount of damage taken, it helps to take a step back and realize, hey, it's normal to take, you know, 45 seconds to kill... We got some bombs here, but... It's normal to take 45 seconds to kill Famine this early on in a run. There's nothing shameful about that. And if I'm being honest, like, this run is actually going really well right now. I'd like to, if possible, keep our other spirit heart... Wow, that was horrible. I, I was going to say I'd like to keep our spirit heart alive, but actually, now that I realize we have the goat head, I'm a little less concerned. Losing the spirit heart is still dumb, but it doesn't matter as much, and I really don't want to lose um, our chance at an arcade, considering that we're going to get a deal with the devil on the next floor anyway. Ooh, but we got that Black Lotus, boys. Let's move along here. I'm not disappointed in that at all. Is it the best secret room item? I think that that's situational, but it is very good. Like, in, in almost every situation, especially early game, if you get Black Lotus, you're stoked. It's like Black Lotus in, in Magic the Gathering. I, I, I think that may even be based on the same thing. No, I'm just joking. Um, obviously, that would be impossible. No, uh, but, you know, an early Black Lotus, certainly win you a game of vintage legacy uh, Magic the Gathering. Early Black Lotus in the Binding of Isaac. Surely helps us get to uh, one extra win on our streak here. We are uh, uh, almost approaching the point of ridiculousness, I'd say, where it's been like more than two months since we had a loss. It's scary for me because it means that I've, you know, we're going to talk about highway blindness. I've become very acclimated to winning, which is great. As long as it never, ever stops. Because, you know, the inertia will be... The, the, the change in momentum, the impulse, if you will, will be quite a, a shock to me if it ever happens. Just want this guy to shoot once so we can get this bomb to land again. I mean, this is the whole point of having all these bombs is so we can do stuff like that. Didn't get hit. We have at least two hearts left. I think we have two and a half. So we can pretty much take whatever we want here. I think we take both. The pact gives us two spirit hearts. I am losing my nerve a little bit, though, because I'm like... Are we actually going to die in the process here? We should take the Pact first. Because then we have two Spirit Hearts. This still costs Red Hearts, so we should be able to take that then. Okay, we're not dead. I didn't think that we would be, but at the same time, with Curse of the Unknown, especially with a, a streak in the balance, you're kind of like, I don't want to fuck with it, right? Like, I just want to... I want to make this run as easy as possible. Especially because we already have all the tools we need to succeed. So, I think we might be at... In fact, I think we are at 0 HP, 3 Spirit Hearts, 2 from the Pact, and 1 from the uh, 
one from the uh, shop there. So we do need to be careful. But it's a good run. It's a good situation right now. I hope I didn't make a terrible mistake. I mean, a, a truly terrible mistake would have just been dying on that uh, on that deal with the devil. Ooh, thank you for the spirit heart. Maybe like once every few runs you get a, a spirit heart out of a fire. So I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth on that one. And it may already be half gone. But that's life, man. That's life. By the way, I'll, I'll just, you know, come out with a... Uh, Blanket apology for my inability to understand how to use the D7. Uh, and that's a defeatist attitude. I don't mean that I'm, you know, intellectually incapable of understanding this item. I just mean I'm, I'm unwilling to understand this item, I suppose. Uh, I need to put in some time. Big fan, at least, is Beelzebub and an orbital. And a big orbital at that, but it's not a particularly great one. Um, you know who is a particularly great one? Wayne Gretzky. 99 wins. We're coming, boys. Madrinas, let's uh, let's go to our secret room. It seems plausible, if not guaranteed, that this will be our secret room, especially the way this room is framed. Unfortunately, we don't get much out of it. One bomb will almost certainly pay for itself, and we might have an outside chance of getting restock here. So let's throw this down. We didn't get restock, but we got enough bombs to probably, almost certainly, get restock. So I'm going to do that, and that's just preparation for uh, the hush fight, if we decide to do it. Are we going to decide to do it? Probably not, but... You know, if if the hush fight becomes uh, something that's in store for us... Ooh, justice card as well. Um, then we're going to be interested. I kind of want to buy this card. I just wanted to see, maybe it's the hero font. Five cents for the death card is like, I'll, I'll consider that breaking even. For now, at least. Head down to the next floor. Recall, we've got the goat head. We have a little bit more spirit heart action than I thought. We're at five, which is pretty solid. I think we should uh, go to our curse room. We have bombs, so we're, we're unlikely to find something in there we can't deal with. Throw a bomb down here, just be careful. Cricket's head would be amazing. Instead, we got two bombs, so... We traded a Spirit Heart for a bomb. Not a good trade at this point in the game. But you gotta take those gambles. Uh, ooh, unlimited bombs. Not a not a good gamble at this point in the game, but you gotta take those chances as they come. Might be able to get into this room for free, but I'm a little bit more concerned with momentum right now. And Smart Fly is a, uh, a good familiar for when we get hit. It also helps to contribute towards Beelzebub, which is something that's actually very relevant for us right now. Now let's avoid making what I felt was a mistake that we made last time. Uh, I really need you to move over this way. I, I can't bend my shots to hit you. There we go. Um, let's not go to our boss fight until we see if we can get some more spirit hearts because I don't want to put myself in an uncomfortable situation on a deal with the devil. We'll take our bomb, unlimited bombs, and uh, we should be able to go to our shop and my goal is to purchase a spirit heart in there and then we can go to the boss fight. Unlike the last run where we uh, we had Satanic Bible, we don't have a reliable way of increasing our spirit hearts yet. So I am a little concerned. Oh, it's restock as well. Okay, so we should restock unlimited bombs and a spirit heart available. We should probably... I mean, we could pretty much guarantee ourselves the win right now if we're really unkind to our donation machine. Which I think we should be. I think we should say, you know what, this donation machine's not at 100 have 538 so it's not like it's in any danger of running out um, I didn't mean to donate there but it is largely irrelevant probably I kind of want to buy the card as well but this as much as it annoys me because I do want to keep our donation machine relatively solid this probably gives us the win right here so it it's a little rich of me to be like no I'm above that I don't do that anymore Just grab that grab that Grab that. We'll place one more bomb, and essentially, we probably just got as close to a win as we could guarantee ourselves. Um, I might as well just double it right now. We got as close to a win as we can guarantee ourselves for 50 cents on our donation machine. That is like, I'll, I'll take that deal as often as the game gives it to me. As long as we still got money in our donation machine. But even if we didn't, we were still in a good spot, so it's not like things are, uh, 
are tough or we're tight for time or anything like that right now. Um, so just keep this up. We do have like an out for boss rush if that's something that we desire and I think that it, it may well be. Good shot. I, I gambled on you missing there and I, I feel bad as a result because that was not the right way to handle that. We'll grab this. Turns out we didn't need to buy every spirit heart and then for the first time in 10 runs we got Krampus. It's actually just the first time in one run, but it feels like ten runs. There we go. We'll take head of Krampus. We'll move down to the next floor. We've probably just made ourselves as safe as we can possibly be here, which is lovely. Ooh, but this is the only thing that could fuck with it, is a double key room um, that, that puts us on the back foot. Money. I think it's our first pill. It gave us amnesia, which is really bad. We already had petrified poop. I was talking about, wait, was that last run where I was talking about shooting the poop and if the poop turns out then that's awesome? Or was that this run? Because if it's this run, it's a bit of a silly oversight. I always, or, or very frequently, forget to notice what trinket I have uh, on an Eden run. It's, it's so secondary, sometimes you don't even have trinkets on an Eden run. I don't think you, you know, you definitely don't start with a trinket every time. That was bad. Uh, head of the Keeper, so we get, I mean, I'm not going to say it's unlimited money, but for all intents and purposes, it's, it's basically unlimited money. Hoping for the syringe, didn't get it, that's okay. Explosive diarrhea, also that's okay. Really, at this point, we're, we're just kind of winding down uh, the clock until we can get to Boss Rush. Hopefully, you know, we continue to do fine on Red Hearts because every single floor is going to give us a deal with the Devil, especially now that we've seen Krampus. We need these Red Hearts to give ourselves uh, a good shot at uh, getting all those DPS ups, which, you know, presumably show up in the, sh in the deal with the Devil all the time. And we should qualify for, like, every single one of them because we have 11 spirit hearts or something stupid, maybe nine, nine and a half. Yeah, maybe, maybe that surprisingly specific number that I actually took the time to count just now and for some reason wanted to make it seem like I didn't. It's because, you know, counting is, uh, is something to be ashamed of, man. You're willingly doing math? Were you some kind of nerd or something? That's what I never understood, you know. This one goes out to all my... Uh, if this is gonna sound wrong. This one goes out to all my only children out there. No, but, you know, as an only child... First off, if you're gonna say, Oh, you're an only child, now I get it. You, you don't know what you're talking about. That's a pseudoscience. Oh, I get it. You're a middle child, so you're blah blah... You know, if you believe that stuff, that's fine. But, you know, don't don't tell me that you've gotten some, uh, you know, rigorous... Ooh, chaos. Chaos and restock is so good. Don't tell me you've gotten some... Uh, insight into my personality from the fact that I'm an only child. But what I will say is that as an only child, you gotta learn to amuse yourself. And it's probably a lot easier now than it was, you know, in the 1700s, where you would amuse yourself by, you know, working on the family farm until you had an accident that cost you your leg, getting a terrible infection, and then, you know, dying at the age of eight. Um, yo, man, that's not cool to joke about something that happened 400 years ago. What if you died when you were eight? You wouldn't feel so good about... Okay, that's... I never lived in, you know, the pre-Victorian era. So I guess I can't understand what it's like. But you have to learn how to, uh, how to entertain yourself. I read a lot as a kid. But also, you know, you're, you're taking like... That was a terrible deal with the devil. You're taking like long car trips and stuff like that. You, you gotta learn... To entertain yourself. And one of the ways that I entertained myself was like... Whenever there was an opportunity to do some basic arithmetic, I would do some basic arithmetic. So, you know, if the bill comes out, it's 40 bucks. You gotta figure out what a 15% tip is. It's very simple, right? If, if, if you tip 15%, I'm not gonna get into the whole whether 15% is, you know, right or not. That's the standard in Canada, or at least where I, we are in Canada. Some of you are gonna say, that's too low. Some of you are gonna say, why tip at all? They're just doing their jobs. But you got a $40 bill. You take 10%, that's 4, and then you take half of 10%, that's 2. You're leaving a $6 tip even. Wow, what restaurant did you go to that gave you such an even bill? That's convenient. You might want to leave an extra 5%. In that case, you'd be leaving an $8 tip. 2 times 4. Anyway, it's the same thing for multiplying two-digit numbers in your head. You know, what, what is 17 times 13? Well, it's 13 times 10, which is 130, and then it's 13 times 7, which is 91. So you're looking at 221 there. And just by doing that, 
you've made yourself smarter and you've killed 45 seconds of an eight hour car trip, right? Contract from below is pretty good here. But there are, there are some people out there who are like, you know, well, why are you wasting your time doing math in your head? Well, what do you do in the car? Sit there and think about nothing. Look out the window. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You gotta entertain yourself however you can, but you know, if you can do so productively, I think that's that's valuable as well. It's like the bare naked lady said, you know, there are luxuries we can't afford, but in our house we never get bored. And then they say we can dance to the radio stations that play in our teeth. I don't know what's up with that. These some kind of braces picking up radio signals or something like that, but uh in in my house we'll never get bored because we'll all say, hey slugger. Uh, why the long face? What's 13 times 17? And they'll be like, oh, 221, and I'll be like, that's my boy. And then they'll run away from home at the age of 11, and, uh, that'll be that. We already have a teleport card, but we'll, we'll go to our secret room. At least I'm assuming it's our secret room, and it is. But I, I don't blame, I don't blame the kids in that situation, you know, that's learned behavior. I, I blame... I, I don't know how many times we're going to talk about how annoyed I am with, like, the way that math education works, at least in, in Canada. But I, I blame the I blame the system. I put the system on trial. We'll definitely take Cricket's head. For always being like, math is something to be afraid of. This is how you end up with adults that are like, uh, you know, what's seven times four? I don't know, I'm on the spot. Don't put me on the spot, you know? We need to... I, this is why you have to respect math, you know, I, I'm weaker at, at math than I am in, uh, you know, the social sciences and, you know, language, basically. But at the same time, you gotta respect math because it always has a right answer. At least, you know, arithmetic always has a right answer. We're not getting into, you know, the, the abstract maths. Even, you know, up through, like, high school math, until you're doing proofs. It's just you, you follow a set of steps, you get the right answer. If you make a mistake, you show your work, you figure out where the mistake is, you debug the process and start all over. We need to, we need to reframe the way we work with math in this, this part of the world, man. Because right now it's like it's something to be survived, not something to be enjoyed. Anyway. This is also coming from the same person who was like... Mad that they were gonna force me to take an art class in high school. So what do you mean to graduate from high school? I need to take one semester of ninth grade art. That is ridiculous. I will never recover from this injustice. What's the point of being a well-rounded individual? I already know I don't want to be a painter. Why would you ever take an art class if you don't want to be a painter? It doesn't make any damn sense. Okay, we definitely want to shoot. We're taking it all the time, but we're. You see this platinum shit right here? Uh, we're doing it all the time, so you better uh, get some better beats in, get some better rhymes. I guess we're just gonna do boss rush uh, if we if we like the items in it, and we'll hold the era rune instead. Got lucky there. This could be a little bit of a tricky room. It wasn't, but it can be. Ooh, just gotta do a little dipsy doodle dance there. There we go. Okay. Um, I mean, we should, we've got to keep going to the shops. They keep giving us, uh, reasons to do so, thanks to Chaos and Restock. The run is strong. It could be stronger, but it's pretty strong. And again, if we wanted to... Oh my god, there's a guppy item. We don't want to go, like, too, too hard on this, but I do want Guppy's Head. Shoop the Whoop might even be better, but, but Guppy's Head is more set it and forget it, so I'm going to go with that. Um... I forgot what I was saying. In the end, it doesn't really matter too much, though. Um, as long as we have shops available to us, and we have bombs available to us, and each bomb is worth, like, you know, two bombs. Probably a bomb and a half, I guess, on average. Because some... Oh, it's the mom fight! I Sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't realize we were on the, the depths, too. I thought we were on the depths, one, because we were only at 1730, but I guess we've been going faster than I uh, am used to lately. Very bad damage. We may not do boss rush now because I didn't prepare for it and my HP is not amazing, but let's see what we got. Is it worth two spirit arts to get the mark? I think so. Temperance is not good here. Um, plenty of battery charges. Cannot die on this run. Like, we, we just can't, we can't let ourselves die. Uh, I mean, Diplopia is really good, but unfortunately, it's like... I mean, it's really good. 
I know, I know we have to. Rest assured that I know that we have to do this. And we can drop Diplopia for now. And just use, uh... Guppy's head. Because we do have 9 volts, so Guppy's head's getting more charges than you'd otherwise expect. Ooh, that was close. Um, this could be close, but remember, we're gonna get another item at the end of this. If we wanted to, we could just pop Diplopia right away. I don't know if we can use Diplopia to just make ourselves Guppy. But I may also want a Yera uh, sooner than you would expect to get more Spirit Hearts. As of right now, I'm not going to go for that plan, as you can tell from the fact that I picked up a Spirit Heart. But in the future, it may make sense to, like, Yera two Spirit Hearts or something to keep ourselves in the game as, as safely as possible here. I hope it doesn't come to that. But I did kind of, like, I fucked this one up by uh, going down to this floor faster than I expected. And 9 volt is not that amazing paired with Guppy's head. Like, we're getting less than one charge per wave. I mean, we're getting the one charge for finishing the wave, but we're getting less than, uh... Less than one extra charge from 9 volt. And less than one, in this case, equals zero. It's not like you can bank it. No spirit heart because I didn't kill Gertie Jr. last. Oh my god. Can you just fuck off? I think we've we've adjusted though. You know, at the start of this boss rush, things weren't going particularly well, but we did have a pretty nasty first wave, so I can understand why uh, things might have seemed a little shaky to begin with. We do have uh, the uh, smart fly as well. He's a smart fly. Taj Mori, anybody? Taj Mori seems like one of those celebrities. I mean, no disrespect to Taj, by the way. Okay. But Taj Mori seems like one of those celebrities where you see, like, the content aggregators on a website, that, like, below an article you actually want to read that's like, you won't believe what he looks like now! And then it shows a picture of, like, Taj Mori, and you're like, I don't support these journalistic practices, but at the same time, I want to see what Taj Mori looks like now. What I do now is, like, I'm so against... And, it, and people do this on YouTube, and it doesn't bother me that much, because, you know, they're my colleagues, and people gotta eat. But there's clickbait is, is rampant, man. If I see like a, a super deliberately clickbaity article, like you won't believe what he looks like now, it's got a picture of a celebrity, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I won't believe what he, I was such a bad dodge. Maybe I won't believe what he looks like now. What I do is I leave that website and then I type into Google Taj Mori 2016, and inevitably there's like, here's a picture of Taj Mori at the Teen Choice Awards, and he just looks like an adult. Are you, are you supposed to be surprised that he doesn't look like he's 10 forever? It's, it's like, um, you know, you won't believe what Rory Culkin looks like now. He looks like a 25-year-old man, which is what he is. Man, I, I can't believe that those celebrities were not just trapped in time as a child. Can you imagine how terrifying that would be? If you, uh, imagine you had like a child actor. And then you saw them when they were 30, and they looked exactly the same. That would be horrifying. If that was the article... Okay, stop taking so much damage, please. If that was the article, I would be all over it. I'd be like, dude, I, you're right. I do not believe what they look like now. But that's never the article. It's always like, you won't believe what they look like now. And then they're like, oh, he's he's got a wife and kids. What are the odds? Okay. Well, we took a lot of damage from Boss Rush for very little reason. Um, we didn't gain much, is what I'm trying to say there. That being said, I think we're still in a good position here. Thank God I bought 12 Spirit Hearts 8 floors ago, and we're just kind of coasting off of the, the interest here. We will want to go to the Hush fight, and it's a weird situation that really only shows up in these, like, restock uh, uh, situations. Restock and lots of bombs anyway, where the hush fight may actually be the logical choice to improve uh, our chances of winning a run. And I mean that in 100% sincerity. If we can go down there and buy however many spirit hearts we need to buy to get ourselves to max HP, then it's well worth it. And, you know, whatever we lose, we can just buy back after the fight's over. It's going to be real bad for our donation machine, but it's okay. This is a more tenuous run than it should be, though. I, I've probably mismanaged it uh, in an appreciable fashion. We have Diplopia. Keep in mind, I have neutered myself on this run. 
uh, intentionally speaking. Not not to make the run harder, but to make the run more fun. Like, Diplopia is the wrong choice. If we're going to try to win a run exclusively, Diplopia is not the right call here. It will be fun if we make it down to the chest with this, with the Yara rune, or, you know, who knows what we do with Diplopia, but it, it seems like Yara Diplopia makes sense. Like, Yara open the chest, pop Diplopia. But, you know, that may not be the way that we choose to approach things. We could also just Diplopia all of the items on the shop in the Hush fight, and, and we'll get all of the items and, and all the consumables for free once, and then, you know, we can buy duplicate copies and get them restocked if we want. But, uh, I have, I've made some short-term sacrifices for long-term, uh, you know, enjoyment, which I think is a good thing. Thank you for not being health down, or a bad trip, rather. Because I was like, I know we're not going to get health down, but we could get bad trip here, and we are in tight enough of a situation where every spirit heart matters. So, I do want to just, just keep towing the line here. If we could lose no HP on this floor, that would be great. And I am, you know, trying at least to keep an eye out for... Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Trying to keep an eye out for uh, Tinted Rocks. Haven't seen any so far. I don't think I've missed any. I wouldn't say I've been missing it, Bob. Yeah, okay. The other... I've, I've talked about this on the NLSS, but the other uh, clickbait one that annoys me is I keep getting, like, these clickbait articles about Melissa McCarthy. And I know everyone always goes, Oh, you're getting an ad about this? What have you been Googling? Look, it's not like I'm... You think I'm Googling, like... Did Melissa McCarthy die? No, but like the article is always the the headline is fans shocked at McCarthy's loss. She's gone too soon, and it turns out, it, you know, it's it's phrased very deliberately to make it seem like she died. And I'm like, I don't think I think I would have heard about that. But then the article is just that she left Mike and Molly. Uh, fans are disappointed that she left Mike and Molly, and I'm not offended that it's misleading, even though I think that's bullshit. I'm offended that they're trying to lie to me and tell me that there are diehard fans of Mike and Molly on planet Earth. Because I, I've seen the show that does not seem plausible to me. Please give me, like, an eternal heart or a black heart. Fantastic. Black heart, run. Won't you come? Wash away my pain The lyric is rain But I'm in pain So I said Pain Black hole run <laughs> Okay, we, I don't know, we, we can't take the pony So we'll just be content with our extra spirit art And, you know, I mean it's tempting to take skinny Or, um, to take a fat odd mushroom here We're not going to though that floor, it went okay. We're still qualified for the Hush fight. We're going to need to maybe be slightly faster. I mean, all things considered, we're not really, like, super overpowered. We're in a great spot. We got Cricket's Head, Death's Touch, Mark, Pact, etc., etc. But, you know, considering we have access to, like, unlimited items, we're not at, you know, power overwhelming levels yet. I'm just begging for Spirit Arts. I mean, we went through the last floor... We took one hit and we got two spirit arts. So we're one HP above where we used to be. That's pretty good. I'm picking up every single penny because if we make it to the hush fight, that could be relevant. You know, that the shop on the hush fight is not going to have greed in it. If it did, I would actually... I would be perturbed, let's put it that way. If we went down to the hush fight and all of a sudden it was like, By the way, you know, all of the advantages you saw down here, they don't exist. Sorry. Gotcha. I don't know if we can take a pill right now. I'm a little, a little scared. We will do this, even if this, you know, minimizes our hush chances somewhat. I think we have to do it, because it raises our chances of getting a spirit heart, getting a guppy item, etc., etc. Obviously, you know, it didn't work out that way. That's the way she goes sometimes. Gotta live with it. Really, really good uh, loadout for fighting Teratoma, or the Fistula, obviously. Um... Just, just spirit hearts. That's all I ask. Three bombs is a very strange payout on a room. I guess we have bomb bag and then contract from below. Is that correct? Might not have bomb bag. It might be little chest. We're doing well. I mean, we're, we're steamrolling these rooms. I don't know if we can afford to go to the cursed room. I'm, I'm 
enamored with this run though because of the fact that it's very novel to a spade it's pretty good uh, it, it's pretty novel to have a run in which going to hush is the sensible option Ooh, that's really good normally going to the hush fight is a is a calculated risk but in our in our present run because of this restock synergy that we've got going on it's it's actually like beyond sensible no spirit arts, three flies, that's okay. We, we can still feel like we made the right decision there, because I think we did. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm enamored with it because it's, it's a novel situation to find yourself with on a run, where Hush is actually, like, pretty much demonstrably the right decision, I think. Good, more flies. Ooh, almost walked right into that one. There, but for the grace of God, go flies! Don't need any more money. I mean, luck upgrades are fine. And by fine, I mean, like, you know, extremely useful, especially with contract from below. Okay, this is important. Check for a second secret room. Dope. We do need to decide if we want to go to the hush fight. And, I, I mean, I think that it's the right call. But I would choose not to if I could get, like, a bunch of the gauze runes here or something. Instead, we got three Yara runes. And two uh, two Yara runes, three Awas. And the Awas rune, you just give me a Spirit Heart and I'd be thrilled. Instead, you gave me a bomb and two pennies I can't use. The real... Uh, now I'm questioning myself because I'm like, the real problem is what if we get a... Uh, what if we get a Hush Fight with no Spirit Heart on it? The answer is, we just blow up... Uh, the donation machine and continually buy items and expect that at some point we're gonna get HP like it could be red hearts it could be it could be spirit hearts well I mean I guess it would only be like squeezy and uh, pajamas binky etc etc that would give us spirit hearts but you get the idea uh, I, I think it's the right call but I'm I'm much more an anxious than I expected to be here got one last deal with the devil that is really good but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like quintuple down on Ma of the Void. It's too too dangerous, I think. Maybe if you gave me a spirit heart. Amnesia. Okay. Ma of the Void's great. I'm just gonna be happy with what we got here. Now I do still think this is the right idea, but a lot of uh I mean this run hinges on this decision right now. It should be a win, but stranger things have happened. Okay, so you start. I don't think we diplopia this one. There's no spirit hearts, by the way. You buy Jesus juice? You buy Book of Shadows. We can use that on the boss fight. You buy Bogo Bombs. Buy Succubus. Buy Sad Bombs. Buy Satanic Bible. Okay, so he Satanic Bible is like the first big hit that we've gotten here. We should be able to make something happen there. So now we crack these. We're looking for battery charges. Golden Key is like the first thing we should pick up here. Didn't get any battery charges. What do we got in here? Guppy's Collar. Gotta take it. We could use the respawn, honestly. We're not quite Guppy yet. Come in here. I think you do go for uh, Mr. Mega. Our bombs are pretty potent now. So what do we do now? Um, well, we, we panic a little bit. And we blow this up. Now we we start to basically ruin our donation machine. We I could see this getting down to like 200, depending on how things go here. We buy Fate. It's HP and it's flying. We buy... Uh, Blue cap, which is going to give us HP and tears at a cost of shot speed. It's worth it. It's, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done, you know? Um, and then we will buy Synth Oil, which is more damage. We're really milking this donation machine, but I can't let that get in my head right now. I... I mean, I don't really want 10 bombs. I guess we want Samson's Chain first. Let's just put that there. And we'll bring Book of Shadows into the boss fight. Another guppy item would be Swell. Halo of Flies is pretty good. Also might give us Beelzebub. Okay, we did get Beelzebub. Deep pockets. Now we start to decide, okay, do we really want to take our donation machine down to like, you know, 200? Which is what we're going to have to do. I said I could see it going down to 200. I think we should be okay with it. Like, I, I want to, I don't want to be 80% sure we beat Hush. I want to be 95% sure we beat Hush. So we get deep pockets. Um, 
There's no way Pageant Boy's worth it, so I guess we just buy 10 bombs. Hey, Ruka. Now's not the time, buddy. Now's not the time. Guppy's Paw. Enormous. Enormous item. Probably gives us the win. I mean, there's no reason we ever should have been this close to death, but... You know, again, what was the right call in this situation? Turns out the right call was probably not fighting Hush. So now we've got Guppy. We could Diplopia. I don't think that's the right play. I think you take Book of Shadows into the boss fight and go to town. Alright, Ruka. You know what? You've made a good case. Enter. Welcome to Papa's house. Sick. Ah, da 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 da. Okay. Now we gotta play well. Our damage is good. I mean, it, like, we are super overpowered now. But the cost of it was, uh, you know, like 300 cents out of our donation machine. A little scary. But we'll be fine. Uh, and again, we probably, and we're, we're not, we haven't won yet, so let's not get too cocky. But we probably didn't need to go as deep as we did on that, you know, restock gamble. But, again, you know, if this was just an average Isaac run, you know, if this was our second win in a row or something, I probably would have been like, ah, let's just wing it. Let's, we got, you know, 6 HP or something, let's try it out. Use Book of Shadows, we'll probably be able to get through it. But on this one, I didn't want to tempt fate. I wanted to make sure we had, you know, nearly 100% certainty of beating the Hush. Uh, and the less damage we take while doing that, the better. And that's, apparently, that's how things are going to go. So, uh... It looks like it's going to go really well. At least for right now, it's gone pretty solidly so far. And, uh... I, I can relax a little bit. Starting to get a little pressure in the head. Because I'm a sucker, like I said. Pressure in the head, not... Sincerely, though, there was a there was a time there. When I walked into that hush fight and saw that there were no spirit hearts, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we're going to throw... Uh, bombs in there. We have sad bombs that also split into other sad bombs and our sad bombs do a lot of damage Because of the fact that they have uh, death's touch and you know, we have a lot of damage beyond death's touch as well uh, But then they also create flies for us. I think so the the sad bombs are a huge advantage right now And now I'm like shit. We didn't need to we didn't need to go this hard on our donation machine We will get a lot of money after this uh, After this is over. I mean like look at all the money on the ground there but, you know, it's up to our donation machine how much it'll actually take. I would love for it to take every cent that we can give it, but that seems optimistic to me. Really easy hush fight, by the way. Probably should have just thrown one more bomb down and it would already be over, but... Okay. Well, it turns out we didn't need to worry about that very much at all. We do have Diplopia back there. We need to go back for it. Let's go do so. We didn't even use Book of Shadows in the end. If we still have money left over... Uh, you know, we only took like 160, 170 cents. It's bad, but it could be worse. If we have money left over, I'll buy Steven at the end of this. If not, I'll consider it a huge plus that the donation machine took so much. I'm always worried about the donation machine because it is a renewable resource, but I want to make sure that there's always something there for the next run. And, you know, it only takes like, you know... Three runs like that to leave it in a pretty fucked up situation. Hey, I'm one fucked up situation. Okay, we got a Diplopia, we got a Yara. I stand by our plan. Then show the world you love him. We Yara our chests, open them up, and then do the standard Diplopia game. I mean, we're, we're in a great spot now. We were always in a great spot, but like, it's unassailable. This is win 67. You're watching win 67 right now. Uh, we don't need we don't need 72 keys. In fact, we don't even need 36 keys. We'll have 16 chests, but we'll get the value of, of nearly 32 chests out of it. I mean, we could just Diplopia the chests before we even open them, and then get double the items. That might be better. Yeah, let's do that. Let's Diplopia and then Yara. Or we could drop the Yara rune, Diplopia, and then Yara twice. That would be better, right? Like, if we Yara, and then Diplopia, what do we get? 16 chests. If we drop Yara, Diplopia, we go to 8 chests, we go to 16 chests. No, we still just end up with... Oh, no, no, we go to 8 chests, then we double twice, we go to 32 chests. Okay, I think that's the right play, then. 
I mean, there's a case to be made for, like, Diplopia allows you to be like, ah, I don't want this item. Pick it up, Diplopia, you get a new item. But I think it's more interesting this way. I think? I don't know, we'll see. You think one bomb will kill him? Yes. <laughs> Mostly because all of our flies totally fucked him as well. Alright, alright, alright. Now, the only thing that will fuck this is if, um... Diplopia doesn't double Yara runes. Yara doesn't double Yara runes, but Diplopia should. It did. Okay, so then we use Yara. Then we use Yara. And it's getting a little silly. Chocolate milk. Magic mush. Matchbook. So far, so good. Mr. Dolly. Mom's pearls. Um, we've accidentally entered another room. You don't need those bombs yet. Mom's coin purse. Binky. Torn photo. Good stuff so far. A snack. Guppy's tail. Try not to take Cursed Eye. Curse of the Tower. You know, if it happens, it happens. Pandora's box is not good. Bob's curse. We breakfasted ourselves? That was a little early for a, a breakfast here. Monstro's lung. Mom's contact. Plenty of books. I mean, we should get Black Bean, technically, but I just don't care. It was good. It was a good haul. Our shots are so big, they actually, like, don't even fit on the screen. Our flies are ridiculous, though. So, we, we've won the run. I mean, if that wasn't clear, it should be clear by now. We've won the run. Uh, Pandora's box does nothing for us down here. I know that because I've made some mistakes in the past with Pandora's box. I love that you can just shoot upon entering the room and be... Completely fine. I know that you're going to be like, use sad bombs, use sad bombs. Okay, we'll, we'll use sad bombs. Probably because of our flies, all enemies will die before we even get to use sad bombs. Like, before the explosion even happens. But we'll get to see it, at least. Well, that Okay, we need to fully charge a shot first. We're also getting two extra items per room, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, now let's try it. That's the stuff right there. I think we have had better sad bombs situations than that, but that is pretty freaking good. All right, it ended up being an easy win, a win that we should not, um, probably should not have spent so much money uh, on, on the Hush fight, but it gave me peace of mind. And now we got a peace of my mind, we're at 67 wins in a row. Thanks for watching so far, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.